Hello everybody, this is Nayanid, welcome replay viewers. We are in Hollywood in front of the oh so very famous Cinerama Cinema. It's a historic cinema. Hi, how's everybody doing? Hi Dave Gonzalez, how are you? Hello, hello, hello Thunder. I'm giving you guys a quick shout about 10 or 15 minutes of Hollywood. A lot of people seem to have a lot of curiosity about, you know, um, Hollywood and having a slice of life. It's your Friday, excellent. <laughs> Hello, Thunder, how are you? Hello, Rebecca. I am here in front of the Cinerama Dome Theater. How's it going? How's it going, everybody? I'm just going for a little quick run. Not a run, but a walk, and it's so hot out here. Hola, obrigado, obrigado. How are you? Hello from Brazil. How is Hawaii? Oomph. By the way, oomph, now that I have you here, I didn't get info that the emergency vehicles were coming before you guys made it here. <laughs> I know, it's so loud. <laughs> oh my lord. All right, back to us, back to us. It is really windy over there, oh my lord. Yeah, I saw your scope yesterday. It looked, uh, it looked pretty cloudy. How's everybody doing? Um, hopefully I have a title and hopefully I have a geotag. Can anyone tell me if I have a geotag and a title? I very much, very much appreciate it, guys. That's their way of saying hello. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, I've arrived. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> yes, both. Excellent. All right. So then we can walk. I'm just walking around the Hollywood area, guys. Just wanted to let you know. Um, hello, DJ White. There's a lot happening in this intersection. Uh, this is close to what is called uh, uh, Hollywood and Vine, but we're actually on Sunset Boulevard, and I'm trying to read the messages as I'm walking about, guys. Thank you, everybody, for being here. You are a retired firefighter. Oh, wow. Good evening, Bovar. Oh, sorry, this is uh, DJ White. Sorry, I got confused with the, with the logo here for a second. Hi Lourdes, ¿cómo estás? How are you? For everybody who's joining, this is Nene Filmmaker Los Angeles. You are a cat. Oh, that's right, Bobber. You're a cat. You're a cat. Well, meow. <laughs> My camera's going really dark and out of focus. It does look familiar. Do you know, do you recognize Amoeba Music? Wow, my camera went just like supremely dark. Um, if I am next to Anhan, I'm sorry, I'm trying I missed that. Meow, meow. Oh yeah, Amoeba. Amoeba is one of the last uh, record stores that we have in Los Angeles. I scour the earth. <laughs> it did go a little blurry because of that one light in that direction, the sun. You know, that one major source of light. The sun, you know, that one sun. <laughs> it's much, much better now. I'm glad. Oh, yeah, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Hi, Jeffrey Smith. How are you? How's everybody doing? Thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you for the love. Rebecca, are you going to be having a lot of wins in Hawaii? I very much enjoy your scopes, and I look forward to the sunsets. If I don't watch your sunset, it's because I'm typically, like, so busy that I just cannot log into Periscope but I try to make a point of saying hello and visiting and seeing your scopes. Hawaii is beautiful, I've never been, but I'm still looking, oh my lord. Seems like it, it's whipping, wow, whipping wind. <laughs> it is trying to focus on its own, oh well. How long, uh, what has been here? The Cinera Cinerama Dome? At least 40, 40 years, the Cinerama, Cinerama Dome uh, in Amoeba has been here for a long, long, long time, long time. 
It is a record store. It is amazing. It is that whole block. And then it's got two levels. And uh, you can buy new and used albums in there. I would go in there, but they don't allow any filming. Otherwise, I'll bring you. I'll take you with me. Uh, on this level, they sell exclusively DVDs. And it's so amazing because you can find DVDs that you cannot find anywhere else, including eBay. So whenever you're looking for any, uh, any content, music, or video, and here comes the, uh, the emergency. Oh, it's, they're still looking. They're still <laughs> Are they lost? That would be hilarious. Um, you can find music and videos that you cannot find anywhere else at Amoeba Music. Shots fired. <laughs> Maybe. Can point to fire. <laughs> I have seen that a couple times and it's the most hilarious thing. Seeing emergency vehicles lost is hilarious. It's like they would go by and they make all this noise and suddenly you hear the noise again and you're like, oh my God, could there be another emergency? <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, let me see. Let's cross the street. Let's go check out that uh, street art over there. Oh, let me cross in this direction because I was going to show you. And we're walking, guys. We're walking. Hang in there with me. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the love. Bienvenidos a todos. Bienvenidos to Replay Viewers. Bienvenidos a todos. Le monde. Bisous a tous. Let me show you. There's a little sliver little sliver of the Hollywood sign let's see this is a good test for my camera do you guys see it Jack in the box over there over there Hollywood sign Hollywood sign I don't think you see it at this vantage point but let me zoom in there you go the camera is not gonna know what to do but you can kind of see the contour of it you know there's a mountain there's a Hollywood sign let me see if there's a way to stabilize no I I can't that is as, as well as it's going to focus. But you've been here with me, guys, on a couple of the Hollywood scopes where I've shown the Hollywood sign. There you go. You can see a little bit better. And since we are in Hollywood proper, it only makes sense I show it. Hollywood sign. Hollywood sign. I've done a few, few scopes uh, from the mountains, showing the Hollywood sign on a beautiful day. I very much uh, uh, enjoy showing you guys Los Angeles. And this is the Los Angeles Film School. For those of you interested in um, learning how to make films, this is one of the big facilities and schools that shows you how to do film school, uh, do films. And this is, just so I show you and I establish where I'm at, guys, this is Sunset Boulevard, the very famous Sunset Boulevard. And we have these amazing, amazing blue skies. We had a little bit of cloud coverage yesterday because we had some winds and we had some rain and we actually had a lot of wind here, Rebecca. It was really amazing. What we had was pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, pretty intense. And so let's cross the street. So uh, that location, oh, hi, hi, Carl, how are you? Oh, I can show you while we wait. Uh, this is the CNN building, guys. A lot of interviews take place there and some broadcasting for CNN, CNN West Coast, that's their headquarters. Hi, Kylo, how are you? Good to see you guys. Good to see you, good to see you, that's CNN, and we are in Sunset Boulevard, Kylo. Good to see you, everybody. Oh, and we can cross. Let's cross, guys. Crossing, crossing. There we go, Amoeba Music. Nada Cam is in full force today, Kylo. Just FYI, okay? Here we go, guys. Amoeba Music against CNN. In the corner. Oh. Amiba music. Hi, Kylo. So, where is camera two? Amiba music. It's a really fantastic place. I love going in there. And so, let's see this uh, street art that I really like. 
because even though it's their own street art advertising, their store has got so much detail that I really have always liked it. Oh, am I, are we in them still? No. Amiva Music Street Art. I love it. And it's got so many messages. The supreme source for your musical inspiration. Videos, tapes, LPs, CDs, DVDs, posters, 45s. Check that out. And there's a pyramid. Amoeba music. Oh, and here's it. What ta what's towers, guys? I showed you guys a little bit of the... It was just a hint. One day we will go there and do a Watts Towers scope. Well, you would love it here, Caldwell, because they have music that you cannot find anywhere else. They have new and used. No, this is not a mall. Uh, Amoeba Music is just a gigantic music store. You mean here? Not in this block. Uh, so you have the Grumman's Chinese. There's a lot of uh, Los Angeles references here. There's the Chinese theater, uh, some of the, the downtown Los Angeles skyline. Um, I don't know who this guy is. Is there a mall in Hollywood? Uh, there's the Hollywood and, uh, Hollywood and Highland Mall. We were there at some point. Yeah, it is. We've been there. You guys have been there with me. And that's where we saw the Hollywood sign. And then so you have the Watts Towers. I told you a little bit about the, those towers. A gentleman who was uh, like a ceramic uh, worker, um, he made these towers that are like a mosaic of cement and tiles, cement and tiles and all kinds of materials. And he built these towers and uh, they're really phenomenal. At some point they wanted to take, to take them down because they thought that they would crumble because the guy who built them was not an architect or draftsman or engineer or anything like that, but they tested them. A group of engineers or architects, they tested them to, to see if they were uh, architecturally sound and that they determined that they were, and so they still stand. In Hollywood, Hollywood, obelisk with music and peace and infinity and all kinds of little details. And here's this bull with just one eye. I don't know. But this is the artist right here. 2011, Brian Blesser and John E. Beth. And, and everybody, does everybody know that Hollywood design that I just showed you a bit ago? It was actually a really big sign that was, instead of just Hollywood, it was actually Hollywood land. And that used to be a real estate development. A real estate development and as a matter of fact all the neighborhood that's right below it is a the real estate development and the hollywood land signed was actually designed to be an advertising not a landmark to advertise hollywood but a landmark to adver advertise that real estate development there you go guys a little bit of trivia for you guys that may be curious about hollywood I am music shopping, you bet, Ronnie. Come on over. Let's go look for some music. Ronnie knows. Ronnie is a drummer in Los Angeles and a really amazing drummer. So we are here at Amoeba Music. Let me do a tilt up for you guys. Amoeba, yay! Amoeba. I'm just showing people what's happening in this corner. It is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Let me see if we can see the Hollywood sign. Guy, I'm, I'm tilting down because I don't want to show faces. I try to respect people's privacy as much as possible. And so, oh, we can see the Hollywood sign a little bit better from here. We can see it complete. Hello, friends. How are you? Bonsoir, bonsoir. Or it's in the middle of the morning for you. Hollywood. Hi, bonjour, bonjour, ça va? Show faces and interview people. Yes, I'm just gonna do that and get, get punched in the face. It is 3 a.m. in Paris. Oh, where are you at? You said France. Let me not assume it's Paris. You had a gr 
Oh, you had a Greca. You had a Greca coffee. Oh, fantastic. I am so glad you tapped into all that. Like I said on my previous scope, I'm totally excited about Periscope because, you know, I'm basically sharing information that would otherwise be completely useless. Oh, you're, oh, you're near Vitri. Oh, good for you. Je t'aime Paris. I love it. I love it. I love Paris. <laughs> champagne. Oh my God. Champagne. Traffic is bad as usual. Yes, it is. Some of you may be aware of how terrible the traffic is here in Los Angeles. But let me peek. That's the entrance of Amoeba. I can't show it inside, guys. I apologize. But it's humongous. Okay? Take my word for it. And what's amazing about Amoeba is also that a lot of groups come here to perform. Musical groups come here to perform. And it's kind of a rite of passage. So some little groups, big groups come and play, and it's really amazing. Uh, so sometimes you can be really lucky and see some of the, some of the groups that you would uh, otherwise see on a big venue. But they come and they play at Amoeba because it's kind of their way of giving. Good night, bon nuit, bon nuit, is their way of giving to Los Angeles because it's such a musical hub that, you know, it, is, it also serves as no bebo nur de no bebo. It is also a way to give back to the community because Los Angeles is such a musical hub that a lot of people feel like, you know, their start was here. And so they give back and that is one way they do it. So that's really awesome. And let me show you guys the poster of the new movie, the, uh, the reboot, My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. It's been a while. And there's me, guys. Ah. It's been a while since my back, my big fat Greek wedding won. So there you go, guys. That is coming soon, coming soon. March 25th. Anyway, guys, I'm going to rotate. I'm going to show you, if you guys would like and want to walk with me, the entrance of the Cinerama Dome. It actually has... Uh, one Cinerama Dome, which is, uh, it is this very curved and large screen. It's amazing to watch movies like, say, Star Wars. But it also has the Arc Light Theaters. And I've seen a lot of events. I've seen a lot of movies at the Arc Lights. I've seen a lot of Q&As. I've, I've seen Benny Soltero on his Q&A with the Che movie. I've seen Elijah Woods on his conversation about Lord of the Rings. Arc lights! Do we love the arc light, Ronnie? We love the arc light. And this is what it's called. We are here on the Sunset and Vine district. Sunset and Vine. It's all about movies and it's all about music. I showed the Los Angeles Film School. And this is the Cinerama Theater which is very retro and it's really beautiful and it's super fun super 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 fun there you go that's the arc lights and uh is there something you'd like me to show ronnie i love this check that out i love this architecture it's pretty modern but it's actually kind of fun i've done the red carpet guys here i've done Along the sidewalk, I've done the red carpet for the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival at the same time as Javier Bardem. So let's keep walking, guys. I wanted to show you the entrance of the arc lights. Get close to the palm tree. Yeah. Oh, uh, which palm tree? The one we saw back there? Is there something you want to see about the palm tree? We have some palm trees. These are smaller ones here. Smaller palm trees. The texture is amazing. I love this. They're kind of fuzzy. Palm trees. But these are tiny ones. These are tiny ones. Here we go. Close up. Close up of a palm tree. 
Any particular reason you want to see a close-up of a palm tree, Sander? You have a drum student? Oh, my camera does really well with these kind of shots. See? In focus, out of focus, out of focus. All right, Ronnie. Good to see you. I'm going to stop here just at the entrance of the arc light because after, right after this, I'm going to go get some music. Ah, Amoeba music. That's right, and I'm going to leave it here at the arc light. Oh, actually, guys, there's going to be a red carpet event. Hmm. Miracles heaven. You guys want to see the red carpet? The red, red carpet for something. Red carpet for miracles from heaven. Do you guys know what that is? Miracles from heaven, red carpet. But we still the Oscars carpet. This is a smaller, lesser. Let's hear. Check it out, guys. All the uh, news groups have their own like place to stand. There's KABC, there's CBS, there's Fox. There's look at that. Hey guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. I have no idea what miracles from heaven is based on a, an incredible true story. Oh, I see a poster over there. But who put that tree right in front of the poster? How do we explain the impossible? Hmm. Is it written by Patricia Riggin? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with Arclight Cinemas, guys. Everybody have a great time. There's only a couple of you here. I'm going to take some pictures and leave you with that. I'll post pictures on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, you've never seen the palm trees, only in the movies. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll show more palm trees next time, okay? So good to see you all. It was lovely to share a little bit of my LA experience and my journey. So great to see you guys. Where did everyone go? I don't know. It's the afternoon here. So people are just wrapping up. I am the same way. I'm wrapping up with a few things. So uh, here I live with you guys. Have a good time. I adore you all. So have a terrific day, whatever city, whatever state, whatever country you're at. And I will talk to you soon. Absolutely, Caldwell. It's my pleasure. It's my, my pleasure. I'm here just because, you know, some people requested for me to come to Hollywood. And so I am sharing just that. So I will talk to you soon. I'll follow up with uh, Twitter and Instagram pictures. If you guys want to follow, you can, you can find those places there, those places in my bio. And so I will talk to you soon. Bye, Caldwell. Bye, everybody else. Ciao. Have a nice day.